In this video and the next few of the series, we will start working on the World Robotics Olympiad 2014 Junior High Competition. It's a very interesting competition and this is a small model of the mission field. The competition is the following. We have an object in space and we have two satellites that are in orbit around this object. The first one is the green one that's moving on the green line and the second one is the black one that's moving on the black line. This here is called the factory and this factory satellite is orbiting the, the large object in the middle and we must program, construct and program the other satellite that will be orbiting the green line and on the green line we have some small objects balls and uh, we use these uh, balls and we must collect these balls with with our green satellite and when we collect them we must put these balls on the factory satellite so both satellites are in orbit this one collects and then it must find a way to place the balls on the satellite object and this is the problem that we are solving in the next few videos. The first thing that we should think about is how do we construct the the satellite, our satellite, because the factory satellite is given by the organizers of the competition. This one here, that's the black satellite that's the default and it has a container above uh, but we we haven't placed the container currently but this satellite it is the, the factory satellite and it's orbiting on the black line and the other satellite the green satellite is our satellite and it must collect objects so we came up with the construction and the construction looks like this this here is the construction for the green satellite and with this robot we can follow the line the green line we can collect different objects because we have an attachment at the front of the robot and it is also very interesting that when we lift this attachment we can move above objects that we don't have to collect because there are such objects on the on the green line some of them we have to collect some we, we would turn skip etc and <coughs> because the robot is quite high we can place the elements below the robot and we can move with the robot over the elements and the elements are actually lego uh, one of the bows from lego this here is our construction let's First, check out how do we collect an object with this construction. First, we have the bow and we must catch and leave this bow and put it in the container of the other satellite. So we move with our robot and we have this nice construction at the front of the robot, the manipulator. And it's again uh, interesting because it has two movements with a single motor. First, we close the manipulator like this and then we lift again with the same motor because at the front of the manipulator we have an ultrasonic sensor right here we can detect where the bow is and we can move with this bow and now as we have lifted the bow we can move over other bows so for example if this bow is here, the robot is high enough so that we can move over this other bow. If we have to collect it, we use the manipulator and if we don't have to collect it, we just lift the hand and move over the bow. And it's a nice strategy because uh, with such a large robot we don't have to turn and to try to avoid the obstacles, we can just move over the obstacles. We can then lower and leave the bow. We just turn the medium motor in the opposite direction. Ok, let's try and see how this works on the field. But since the video is getting already over 5 minutes, I prefer to continue with the field in the next video.